Hello everybody and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can uh, make sort of a textured flashlight effect um, with the lamps in Blender. So you can see we have a texture over here and that's affecting how the light um, appears on the ground over here. So if I spin this, spin this light around you can see that it keeps the texture uh, on the light. So let's just uh, jump right in. All right, so to get started, we're going to delete our default cube and our default lamp. So you can do that just by right clicking on them, hitting X or delete, and then deleting them. Uh, we're gonna hit Shift A to add a plane, and then S to scale it out. Give us a, a bit of a floor here. So then we're going to go up here to Blender Render, switch that to Blender Game, go down to the render type for the scene and we're going to select texture mode stretch out this side window just a little bit and we're going to make sure that you turn on GLSL mode and I think that should be good so then what we're going to do is we're going to hit shift A and we're going to add a lamp and this is going to be a spot lamp you can just drag that up and you can see that the spotlights definitely working and so then we can go to the texture settings here and we're just going to add a new texture image or movie and then we're going to open the cookie image that we want to use so I'm gonna go ahead and go to where I have mine So I have my flashlight cookie.png. And if you don't know how to make this, I will be showing you that later. Um, but really, that's where that's that's really all you need to know about that. So you can see that it it changes the the way that the light looks and it does it based on that that image. And you can modify this in the UV image editor window. So if we split this window, we can go to the UV image editor. We can go to the My Flashlight Cookie. You can see it's just a black and white image. And we can switch this to paint mode. And we can paint whatever we want on it. And you can see off to the right, it changes. Now, if you want to include the entire image, we're going to need to go to the spotlight settings right here and we're going to need to check mark square so there you can see now it's going to project the entire image so the only thing left to do if you want this for first person shooter would be to uh, parent this lamp to your uh, camera or or player uh, however you want to go about doing that so you would just shift select your player and then hit control P set parent to object so that then whenever your player looks around with his camera um, the flashlight follows it all right so for how I made that original cookie image uh, we're gonna open up paint.net if you don't have uh, paint.net GIMP or I think just about any other uh, image editing program will work uh, but I use paint.net because I like it so we're gonna do file new and we're just gonna create a new image it can be any size you want I'm gonna do 800 by 800 just make it square we're gonna use our selection tool select the entire screen and then just delete so that now we've got this uh, transparent image then going to select my circle tool and change it to just fill mode and I'm gonna switch the colors so that I'm filling in with white and I'm just going to draw a circle here let's go about that big and then I'm gonna go to more and I'm gonna turn the alpha down or turn turn up the transparency though so that so that that circles you know 
partially transparent. If I add another layer, this, this should actually be the first step. Uh, we want to add a background layer and fill that in black. So we've got this solid black color on the background, and now we've got this, this kind of gray circle here. So then I'm going to add another layer. And we're just going to layer on some additional uh, semi-transparent circles. And we're gonna, we can kind of alternate uh, between ones that make it lighter and ones that make it darker. So let's go ahead and switch back to the black. And I'm gonna keep this fairly contrasty. Um, you don't necessarily have to, so that's kind of a, a design choice. And we can mess with the opacity to kind of get some different effects. I feel like that's good, so I'm gonna go back to the white circle. I'm gonna layer in a few more. Of course, I'm not spending as much time on this as what you, you probably normally would. And then, of course, on a flashlight in the center, gets the brightest. So this sort of center dot I'm gonna make um, solid white. Alright so that looks okay. It's kind of cartoony. So what I do is I go to effects, blurs, and then just Gaussian blur. So then we're just going to get the radius. Oops. Uh, Let's actually merge this layer down. I forgot I had that that one circle on there. So then blurs, Gaussian blur. So we're wanting to blur all of the circles in the center. We're just going to give it uh, a blur. And again, you can, you can tune this however you want. Uh, let's go for something like that. And we can also do a glow. So I'm going to do FX glow. Uh, maybe I won't do the glow, but or not as much. Let's try something like that. So then we're going to do a file save as, save it as a PNG file uh, or a JPEG or bitmap, as long as Blender can open it. And then of course you can name it whatever you want. So like flashlight cookie, hit save. K and flatten, and it'll go ahead and save it. Then back in Blender, we can just go to Image, uh, Replace Image, and we're going to select the, the flashlight cookie. And there you can see it's all updated and everything. All right, so that's gonna be it for today. I wanna thank you guys very much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below or suggestions for future tutorials. So I want to thank you guys very much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.